Um, I want to bring somebody else to the table here, and then we're going to get to some solutions. Um, but John Lott is um, just one of the just one of the best guys um, on the stats of guns and gun control and and the history of where it's been and where it's going. He's also the author of a new book called At the Brink: Will Obama uh, Push Us Over the Edge? Um, and full disclosure, he is also helping a new book that's coming out in, I don't know, three months called Control on Gun Control. He's helping us um, write that. Um, John, before we get to some solutions, tell me what's happening in Colorado, because we spoke about this earlier today, and I think no one has really put this together. Right. Well, I was just in Colorado over the weekend. Some legislators had invited me out to talk to them, and uh, the Obama administration is putting on a real push. It's first time I've heard of where a sitting administration in Washington is calling up individual state legislators on a state issues and trying to twist their arms to vote for gun control. In this case, um, uh, the president's promising to come out and help campaign for them in the next election if they have trouble. And uh, they were able to get seven Democrats to switch their votes from uh, originally being against the gun control laws, and they would have been defeated to making so they passed the state house there. Okay. Why? Well, what was told, what the vice president told people when he talked to them, was that they want to pass it in Colorado, and if they can show that they can pass certain rules in a relatively gun-friendly state, such as Colorado, then they can use it to help push for the laws that Obama's trying to push nationally. Do you think they get it through? Do you think this happens? I think they have a good chance to get a couple things through nationally. Uh, they're talking about these magazine limits, and they're also talking about uh, these universal background checks. Think, I don't think the assault weapons ban is going to go any place. You think I'm wrong on on uh, uh, comparing their their end goal to that of what happened in England? Well, I think that's farther down the road, possibly. I know I used to know Obama. We both taught at the University of Chicago Law School together. Uh, the first time I met him, I went up and I introduced myself, and he said, oh, you're the gun guy. And I said, I guess so. And uh, he turned to me and he said, I don't believe people should be able to own guns. And I said, well, maybe we can get together for lunch or something to, and talk about it yeah. sometime. And he just kind of wrinkled his face, turned around, and walked away, and that was the end of our first discussion. No, but, he's, but since then, he's, he goes out skeet shooting all the time. Right. Well, <laughs> people can change after a while. I guess. Right. I don't think he has. I don't think he He's has. He's changed either. his words, but he hasn't changed his uh, his opinion. All right. Let me l let me come back to the sheriffs here. What is it that if I'm watching TV um, and I don't live in one of your counties, but I, I I live in a county with a sheriff, obviously. What do I a ask them to find out their position and know that they're telling me the truth, and b um, uh, what do I do to support them? Anybody? Well, uh, for one, it's pretty easy, well, at least in my county, to get a hold of me as the sheriff. I mean, I, it's been kind of busy here lately since so I sent that letter out, obviously, mm -hmm. but uh, most of the time I'll uh, either get right back with you or take your call or if somebody just stops in. That's what people need to do is contact their sheriff. The sheriff is their elected law enforcement leader of their county and they have every right to come and talk to their sheriff to find out what his or her position is. How can we support? How can we help you? One thing we all have in common, we're elected. I think most of us just came out of an election um, and we're elected every four years. Other than that, support our cause. Uh, we give away, we've given away thousands of free gun locks. Um, try and put on programs for kids and things like that. In Missouri, at least, the counties are the probably the poorest entity and the sheriffs have the uh, fewest dollars to spend with their public. You know, the blowback has been tremendous uh, in my county. and I bet it we, is. We have to... The counter strategy to the left on this issue is we have to let them know that we know this is a fight. And we're going to fight with the ferociousness of a junkyard dog to maintain our liberty and to maintain our freedom generally. And this is not just about the Second Amendment. So I need to hear from folks, because I don't have the army that the left has. And they try to wear you down. They try to silence you. I've heard from people all across this great nation after that 30-second little ad. 
And I tell people, call your legislature, call your legislators, call your governors, call everybody you can and stay active. This is not passive anymore, and it's not going to go away. They, the, the left sees this as a tremendous opportunity, um, and they're not likely to, to let it go lightly. So forget about the passiveness now and, the, you know, well, I'll, I'll vote on Election Day. It's got go, to be beyond that now. But you've got to make your voice heard, not just to me, but to everybody. Um, I'm pretty sure I know that the people within my county know where I stand. Uh, being a gun owner myself, uh, born and raised in eastern Oregon, uh, hunted since my early childhood years. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any question with the constituents that support me as their sheriff where I stand. Um, we, we have a very close-knit community. We have 4-H. We have... Mm -hmm. uh, Fast draw competitions. We have skeet shooting. We have black powder cartridge shoots. So you're not um, nobody. There is there, nobody's moving into your county. That you know what? <laughs> the, the sad thing is, we still have people that misuse firearms, and trying to get those people to quit doing what they're doing is one of the things that I would like to see. And gun owners need to police their own ranks. And what I mean by that is using them to commit acts of vandalism and shooting insulators off the telephone poles and shooting road signs as right. you're driving down the road. It doesn't do anything to the, the gun owners except bring heat on them. And it gives the anti-gun people ammunition to come after us. And uh, you know, as, as, as far as I know, we're still Americans. We're still citizens of the United States. I'm a citizen of the state of Oregon. Our constitutions, they don't permit us to have a gun. It is our right to have a gun. Right. And I don't want to antagonize anybody or set anybody off to go do something or to take some kind of a hostile action toward any government official. That is not my goal. That's the furthest from that. I believe in keeping a, all the federal employees or state employees um, safe is very important. But when I, when I see things within my community, people are tired mm -hmm. of the oppression from their government. And at some point, it's got to stop or we're going to have problems. John, you, as the gun guy, as Obama um, called you, you ever seen any? Because I, I never have. I've never lived at a time like this where I've heard what you said is true. What you just said is true. People are tired of it, and pretty soon it's got to stop. Well, there's, it looks like a lot could happen right now. Uh, I suppose the late 90s was maybe a similar time. You know, 98, 99, there was a lot of pressure back then. I just want to say, my research, if it shows me anything, it shows the police are the single most important factor for reducing crime. I have no doubt about that. I've found that consistently, if any of you have read my books. But I think, you know, the police themselves understand. They, you almost always arrive on the crime scene after the crime has been committed. It's kind of like your ad, almost exactly, that you had there. And the question is, what should people do when they're by themselves and the police aren't there? And what's missed out in so much of this debate that we have is that people talk about the benefits from some law, but they never talk about the possible costs that are there in terms of, you know, we all want to try to keep guns away from criminals. But, you know, you just take a kind of the simplest example where you can go and ban guns. Well, that seems like an obvious way to get guns away from criminals. But what happens then? You, it's every time, every place in the world that we have crime data, both before and after a ban, murder rates go up. I cannot find one place in the world where there's been a gun ban and murder rates have gone down. And the simple reason is that it's the law-abiding good citizens who obey these bans and not the criminals. And it's just not something as simple as a ban. You have many other types of regulations that are mm -hmm. there. That it's, and you have to be careful when we pass these types of things, who is going to be most affected? And because uh, otherwise you often will unintentionally. So Massachusetts uh, just looking at some data that they passed registration. You know, you mentioned maybe the end game. They passed registration in 1998. The number of legal gun owners in Massachusetts has gone from 1.5 million to 200,000 since then. Massachusetts has been one of the few places in the country that's seen increases in murder rates and violent crime since then. If you compare it to their neighbors, 
Massachusetts murder rate was 70% of the level of its neighbors in 1998. Now it's 125% of the level of its neighbors. And you can see the increase that occurred right when they started taking guns away from people. Okay. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I want to spend a couple of minutes with uh, you, John, on the, on the back half. We just have a couple of minutes left, and I, I want to talk to you about will he put a sh push us over the edge because it's not just guns. Um, we'll do that next.